All right, Killer Clan, welcome back to Giant Foods. It's been a couple weeks since we did a Giant Foods episode, but we're back, and we're gonna do something that everybody loves. Euros, gyros, however you wanna pronounce it. We're gonna make a giant one. It's got 12 pitas. Tomatoes, onions, even tzatziki sauce. Feta cheese. We didn't go lamb, though. Lamb, whew, way too expensive. Got some steak, though. So we're gonna do a steak gyro, a big one. Let's put it together. All right, so like I said, we ended up going with some Philly steak meat here because lamb is impossible to find and it's super, super expensive. This even was $7 for basically $6.50 a pound. We got some sirloin here. We got five packages of this, so close to five pounds of steak ribeye going in. Maybe I'll do a gigantic cheesesteak one of these days and use these to make my own. Comment below if you watched the cheesesteak video on Monday. I think it's like three foot long. One box I just opened the end of the package with it. It's already open. Weird, huh? Poison. Poison. Tzatziki sauce. <laughs> Depending on how you make it. You can't buy it. Thought we could buy it. Yeah, it was a train wreck. I've All seen right. it before. Tzatziki sauce. The base of it is yogurt. So we got uh, four pounds of sows. Handy pool. I already got my dry ingredients and my olive oil here. Gotta add the cucumber yet. We're gonna add this in. Now some people say that there's tzatziki sauce that's real super garlicky and it almost is like burns to eat it. That sounds awful. I haven't had a gyro since maybe a fair, like maybe in 19, because there were no state fairs in 20. So All right, so finish whipping this up. I'm sure I'm gonna have to get a whisk taken. Get this good. Should get the power out. Let it rip, huh? You could throw it in this magic bullet in here. Yeah, there you go. Out. Blend it. All right, so now we're back with healthy vegetables here. Randall. And if anybody ever wondered how you get the center of a thing of lettuce out, that's how. Now you know. The more you know. That's your lesson of the day, the more you know. Comment below if you're old enough to remember the commercial where it came across with the rainbow and it said, the more you know. Some new knives, as you can tell. You're cutting on metal though, so it's probably wrecked. <laughs> Maybe. Like, which is the skin? Just this layer? Or is it like three layers in? I usually take the first like two layers. I take the layer off that's under, directly under that skin layer. This? Yeah, I usually take that off myself. But. Like that. We got ourselves an onion. I went to the uh, Walmart and I was like squeezing all of them like all the old ladies do. You know what I'm saying? Mm. 
You know, trying to find the right one. Trying to find just the right one. So there's an onion. Still a piece on the floor. Anderson would eat anything I touched before. Pretty much. Look at this Andy pool. <laughs> Gross. Tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, I'm always, I'm not big in tomatoes either, honestly. I don't really care for them, dry or not. Not my thing. Don't really care for them. Don't really care for the taste. But they're in euros. There really isn't anything I can do. Makes it colorful though. It doesn't make it colorful. Season this up a little bit, Mr. Cool. Look at this, Mr. Cool. We even got some feta. Feta crumbles. Because feta makes it makes feta makes it better. All right, so we got our uh, steak seasoned with some salt and pepper, and it's ready. So let's put this gyro together. This would, this is what a normal gyro would be made in, like this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. We got twelve. Too bad you couldn't figure out how to make like one huge one. That would be epic, wouldn't it? We're gonna ladle in some sauce. Sousing it up. We're gonna souse it up on the bottom. Get her good and sousy. We're gonna come in. We're gonna lay in our first tray of steak. Did you say steak? No <laughs> mistake. Mistake. Lay her in our second pan. Then we got our tray of veggies here, handy pool. Rolling I can smell that onion. Smell it, can't you? It's a lot. Sure, why not? Alright, so there's that. You want that sauce pour in there? Sousy. Finish it off with some feta. I don't think you're going to be able to roll it. You don't think? We'll give it a shot. <laughs> Trying to cone it. <laughs> oh, dude, I can do it. <laughs> Oh, look at that. That thing is huge, dude. Look how big this thing is. That thing is Oh, dude, it's so heavy. Alright, so I just saw in the previous clips there, Mr. Poole and myself went ahead and put together this monster gyro. Five pounds of steak, two pounds of pita, two whole heads of lettuce, three tomatoes, an onion, feta cheese and about a half a gallon of tzatziki sauce. It's gonna be delicious. I even chop it with some feta cheese. It's a pretty cool creation, one that I'm proud of. Almost as cool as the water in this bottle from the coldest water. Make sure you jump over there, 
grab yourself one of these. 21 ounces, all the way up to a gallon. Use my link below. Hook up the killer with some kickback. So without further ado, the largest single Euro challenge on YouTube that I could find. If you find one bigger, comment below. But three, two, one, eat the biggest Euro. I have no idea how to even go about tackling this thing. Uh, I do have my big scepter here. Maybe I'll take some ingredients off the top and then make a couple small euros. Seems almost like a Euro salad. Kept me healthy today, all these vegetables. We didn't actually weigh this beast, but rough calculation of the ingredients should be somewhere around 10 pounds. I found a pita. You know your monster your Euro is a monster when you can take it apart and make 12 individual Euros. Yeah, those flatbread things are good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Each one of these flatbreads has 220 calories in it. That means there's over 2,500 calories in just pitas. Next time, hold the vegetables, replace it with all steak. There's a lot of different variations of euros. You have lamb, 
which is your traditional, you have beef, you also have chicken. Comment below if you know of any other types of euros, gyros, whatever you want to call them. Get some of these super wet pitas out of the way. to see Anderson shine in the light. Probably can't see him over this monster Euro. There you go. <clears throat> can see his little head behind this great big huge thing. Hmm. That's why. That's why I always paid to have an extra person here and told me to twist it. I hope I twist them. There's a breeze compared to that spaghetti. like fares a lot comment below if this is your, like your go-to at the fair because I'd love to get me a cheesesteak at the fair but I also like to get me a euro too while man but God gave you two hands one for a cheesesteak one for a euro It's a lot wet. down now it's getting hard to eat Steak. <coughs> I got some steak down the wrong tube. <coughs> it's like a stringy piece. It was like dangling. <coughs> About bought the worm. <coughs> Gagging on tomato because it's gross.
You never give it up, do you, Anderson? Yeah. Anderson would beg for food even if he was about to explode from eating so much. Yeah, good. <clears throat> He's just one of them people with prior release syndrome. You just eat till they explode. I almost got all the guts done. You may ask why I'm not making little euros out of these, it's because in the middle of my pita tray is just all mush. That is talent. That is talent. <laughs> Repeat after me. I have no talent. Mr. Tentacles has all the talent. Comment below if you know what that's from, obviously. It's pretty simple to figure it out, but, you know. If I'm lucky, some of Mr. Tentacles' talent will rub off on me. It's hard to believe that show came out when I was in high school. That was like 25 years ago. Can you believe SpongeBob's been on for like 25 years? 1997. Here it come out. Dude, this looks like shit. Just <coughs> gonna. Just gonna. Wow. <laughs> Monster Euro. All right, so there you have it. The Monster Euro challenge. It's a killer version of it. I think it was a beast. A lot of strong flavors make it hard to eat, especially an entire onion. I'm gonna be tasting onion for a week. But if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Follow me Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at the Killer Kennedy. T-shirts and decals are available. If you want to send me anything, the information is below. You can sponsor one of these giant foods or just send me something for a challenge. Until next time, maybe just go to the fair and get yourself a Euro. Of course, I made this for, I don't know, what's a Euro at the fair, about $12? Probably. And I made basically 12 for about the price of three. Make a giant ear. Take it easy.